Hello everyone, welcome to another edition of The Big Conversation. This is the Tottenham transfer debate. As we know, it's a new year. My favourite part of a new year is the January transfer window being open. Now, are Spurs going to sign anyone? We're going to discuss that. Who should we sign? Who should we sell? Craig, first things first, yeah. who do you think we need? What sort of position do you think we need cover for? We need a striker. Big that, time. without a doubt, is the position we are lacking in. Uh, I think we've kind of almost got cover for every other position. Yeah. Than a striker. Harry Kane is the only out-and-out out number nine. There's no real competition for that space. I mean, some people saying Son could play as a nine, maybe a false nine or a number ten. But I, don't I think people are fooling themselves. I think even Poch knows that he's not... I think he knew he could tra change Eric Dyer into a centre mid, so he didn't need cover yeah. for that in the end. Didn't need Wanyama. But I think striker, I don't think he can change Son. And G's out as well now. Oh yeah, I even forgot about NG. So, we, we've so got, we really do need a striker. We I do. Agree. We really do. And if we if this transfer window goes without a striker, I will be bitterly disappointed. So who's first on your list? Uh, strikers. Yeah. Berahino. Really? Be. Still? Yeah, I know. I know relationships. After everything that's happened. Yeah. I mean, that's more to do with Levy and Peace rather than Berahino. I mean, I feel like he's been the scapegoat in all of this. He's now looking like a spoiled kid who's not really, you know, he's not being selected by Tony Pulis. He's been left out of the side. People are questioning his attitude towards the game, but I just feel like he's been caught up in something which really wasn't in his control. He thought he was going to move to Spurs. It looked imminent and it just didn't happen. Tony Pulis already prepared for life without him and now mm. he's just not being selected and he's not in the pans and I think it's a bit unfortunate, but I think he could still come in and do a very good job as a striker for us. Do you think that he's unhappy on the bench where he is? Who? Berahino. Yeah, of moment. course, yeah, yeah. So do you think he'd be unhappy on the bench at Spurs? No, because first of all, we're a bigger club. You're going to get uh, European opportunities. You could play yeah, in the Europa, true. which is there. I mean, he's not going to get that where he is at West Brom, let's face facts, because they're not in it. But, I mean, like, he's, there's opportunities there at Spurs. And, and look how we're playing at the moment. Who would, wouldn't want to just be a part of the squad anyway? Do we want to pay over 20 million for someone who's going to sit on the bench? The market, look at the market. I mean, is 20 million a lot in this market nowadays? I mean, we spent 26 million on flipping Saldaldo and he scored three goals in open play. So Berahino, even, even, even if he gets us four goals from the bench, 20 million, he's English, he's very young. is yeah. about 30. I mean, he's got a lot of years ahead of him as well. Yeah, and he probably will get quite a lot of game time. Harry Kane has been looking tired recently. 70th minute kind yeah. of sub. Someone, it, it'd be nice to have a striker you can trust to do mm. a job rather than going, oh, I'll give this guy some minutes. And Poch and end. Paul Mitchell are clearly fans of him or they wouldn't have tried to go for him in the summer, summer transfer window in the first place, really and truly. They obviously see something in the kid and now it's just a question of his attitude. But if we think that's unrealistic, right, given that mm -hmm. we couldn't get him before and we maybe have, you know, rubbed peace up the wrong way kind of thing, maybe he's yeah. not going to want to deal with Levy anymore. Who's next on your list? So I've got people here like Batshuayi we're linked to, yep. the Belgian. How yep. do you feel about him? Do you think I, mean, I mean, he's good from what I've seen of him. Yep. And we've got, we've got a Belgian contingent at Spurs, so he could fit right in. You know, there'll yep. be a lot of brotherly love, which is already taking place at Spurs. Exactly. Toby said that that was one of the main reasons that he wanted to come. Is yeah. That his Belgian mates convinced him it was great. My only problem is, and this is what gives Berahino the edge over a lot of the other strikers we may name, is that he's played in the Prem yeah. for a few years and he knows the Prem. There's always that thing of... When a player comes to the Prem, how quickly will they adapt? I yeah. mean, we need someone for this second half of the season. They need to adapt need like to be ready. pronto. There's no, you know what I mean? There's no two, three years so to that, get used to it. Is that the same logic for someone like Levetsi? Definitely. Do you think the same thing? Even though he's got, he's so experienced, he's been around the block for a long time. Yeah, but it's the same. Is he the sort of like kind of, he's going to shore us up because he's going to come in and you're going to go, he's going to do a job because he just played for so many years. He, he might and well versatile. do a job. He can yeah. play on the wing, he can play up front. Does that help? He's got experience and that will always play a key role. But like I said, I, we need someone that will click and know the premiership straight away. The physicality of it, what the conditions are, an away game at Stoke, at the Britannia on a cold day. We need strikers that can deal with these sorts of conditions. OK, in that case, I'm going to say some names. Okay. And I want you to say who would be your first choice out of these ones. Go on. Defoe, Igalo, Dini... Vardy, Bonnie, Remy. See, the thing is, anyone that knows Would me... Would you take any of them? Yeah. And anyone that knows me knows you can't ask me something with Defoe in it because I'll take Defoe back even if he was 41 would, years so old. So you take Defoe even over if the, he was over 41 the top scorer old, in the Premier League? I'll take Defoe. One, right. Defoe no Spurs. Two, he scored like 137 Premier League goals. He's still scoring from Sunderland even though he's playing predominantly from the wing. I mean... To come on and do an impact for Kane. Just, you know, come on in the 75th minute, maybe nick a goal for us. Defoe can do that. Does it work with our philosophy of youth? 
I mean, does it make sense if we're a young side and he's trying to give chances to people to bring yeah. in someone like Defoe? Does that send the wrong message? Well, if we're going to bring in a young player, it is more long term. Granted, yeah. that's where Berahino so comes into play. Defoe half a season. But if we want to go for this title, which people are saying this is our best opportunity ever, and really and truly is our best opportunity with Chelsea, they're going to climb back up next season. They're going to invest in the summer. Man City are going to get. Everyone's going to get stronger again. Liverpool are going to get stronger. Man United. This is our best chance, like Arsenal. In my opinion, to go just go for the title. I'm not saying we're going to win it, but go for it. And Defoe could come in and do a job for six months. But but doing a job for six months does that remind you a little bit of Louis Saha, who we signed last time we thought yeah. we should go for the league. And Harry Redknapp in January he got Ryan Nelson and Louis Saha going. This will shore us up, and this will give us the extra depth to get the title or to get top four or whatever he wanted. Is this a bit reminiscent of that going Defoe over someone like Remy or Igalo or even Dini? I could or see, Vardy, for God's sake. I could see why that would echo Saha. I could see. But the difference is Defoe's already scoring goals in the campaign right now. Plus, he's, Defoe's going to have the fans behind him instantly. He's going to have the fans behind him. He's, 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 you know, he's one of our... He's not one of our own, but he's, he's Jermaine <laughs> Defoe. He's, you know, he's, we love him to bits. Yeah. He's scoring goals right now. And he just knows what's, what it takes just to get goals. The guy's only thinking about one thing. So in one of those games where it's like a stalemate, it's 1-1, we needed a goal like against Everton, Defoe comes on. 75th minute, knocks it 25 yards, because that's all he's going to do. He's not looking <laughs> he's, at anyone yeah, else. He's, he's probably but, going top bins. But is he, yeah, I suppose, I know what you mean, but there were, there were plenty of games Defoe came on and was anonymous. Yeah. Look, realistically, it's not going to happen. Defoe's no, not going to happen. It's more these, my, what I wish would happen, because I like Defoe. And I know these are all very more. hypothetical. I mean, we're yeah. not going to get Vardy either. They're not going to sell Vardy. Yeah, I mean, and he's and not, Vardy's not going to sit on the bench for Ryan King, because I believe yeah. in Vardy's head right now, he thinks thinks, the key word, he's on the same level as Kane when he's clearly not. But he thinks he is, so why would he sit on the bench? OK, how about this one? Uh, not technically an out-and-out -out striker. Yeah. Hazard. He's looking for a big club to go to now. <laughs> I'll take him. Yeah. Hazard! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> listen, down, mate. listen, if you want to play for a top four, oh, let's not get carried away, but if you want to play for a big club and you don't want to be fighting relegation, we'll take you. Yeah, and we've got a good physio team. Belgian brothers all over the place. Exactly. They love us over here. Exactly. You fit straight Might in. Be a bit awkward with Chadley, yeah. obviously. Yeah, you know, you'd, you'd take Chadley's, but Chadley'd understand. He's played a long he time. Would, he knows what he'd 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 know. he would happily sit out for you. We'll straight swap for yeah. give Chelsea yeah, Chadley. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, they yeah. got CH at the beginning of Chelsea. They can have, you know, there's a bit of uh, alliteration there. That's how football clubs Chadley, work. Chadley, Chelsea, boom. <laughs> <laughs> OK, and on another note, um, who should we sell? Now, this is an interesting one to ask this year because the first time, this list isn't very long. Who should we sell? Obviously, Townsend's in the fray. He's been playing for the under-21s, maybe even played for the under-19s the other night. I think he got an assist. Yeah. Do we want to sell him or do we want to keep him? Is he a good squad player? He's not even getting on the bench. I think he, do you know what? I think he offers something. I think he is it because... He offers he's enough... something very specific, yeah, which is cutting in and smashing it over. <laughs> no, but the thing about him is, yeah, he's a Spurs fan. You know, he's been at Tottenham. Yeah. His whole career, really, other than the loan spells. But he's, you know, he's one of our own. And it, the club means something to him. And I don't think he actually wants to go. And it's, it's one of those situations where he doesn't really have a choice. I mean, he's had a physical altercation with yeah. one of our members of staff. And it's like now he, he doesn't really have a choice. I think he's not in Poch's plans. Poch doesn't like his attitude. He doesn't like the way he's dealt with being on the fringes of, of the first team football. So he's going either way, so really. So you, you think he's definitely going? I, I, I mean, if he doesn't, he's just going to rot. And I mean, the Euros is on the horizon. Does he really want to get back in the Euro fold? That's probably in the forefront of his mind. I want to be at the Euros. So, so do you think that he's currently playing for the youth team to keep fit so he can get a move? Or is he playing to try and impress Poch and get back in the squad? Or is it a bit of both? He's going, whichever happens, I've got to do this. It's a bit of both, but I think he, he realises he wants to move purely, I think, because of the Euros. Yeah. I don't think he's even going to get in the Euros. And really and truly, if Chamberlain goes, then he really should go, to be honest, because Chamberlain's been awful. That's a whole other conversation. <laughs> but, but Townsend, I think Euros, in every footballer's mind, you want to represent your country. So if he's not going to get game time, how's he going to do that? So I think he, he will want to push how for much move. Would you, how much would you take for him? For him, he's English, he's young, he will offer is a mid-table team something. I mean, he's younger than Vardy. <laughs> Your body's yeah, fucking so stone age. Um, <laughs> so I take, I take, I take twelve. Twelve. I take twelve for okay. Townsend. I take. 12. I think Levy's probably pushing for fifteen at the mm, moment. In a January, not. I take. I take eight. I take. I take eight. Right. Um, Fazio. He's just got to go. You think he's just got to go? You no don't money. Think, I don't just want money. What, what, I don't want money for him. Go. Just let him. Let him free. Right. What happens? Release him. Pay off his contract. What happens if Jan? Suddenly gets injured tomorrow. Right. Vimmer. Vimmer comes in, who's on the bench. 
we don't need a bench. Someone else can do a job. Dyer is there. Dyer will have to move in and, and play. And then we, we've, got other, we've got other defensive midfielders. Ben Taleb. We've got pe people. Dembele. Let's say they're all job. still injured. Say they're all still injured. Say all of them are injured. You're bringing someone up from the youth team then. Listen, bringing a centre-back up from the youth team. I am playing Rose at centre-half before Fazio. <laughs> I am playing. He could probably jump higher than Fazio. And Fazio is like six foot Yeah, six. you could play. To be fair, you could probably play Ben Day. You might be able to play Ben Day. Even Ben. Off. Any one of. Our, 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 even Trippier. And he, I don't think Trippier is a defender. I genuinely think he's an awful winger. <laughs> but I, I'd pay Trippier a centre-half before I pay Fazio. Are you, wait, so are you putting Trippier on your who should be sell list? Uh, I would have, but he played, a, he played a very good game against Watford. I've criticised him a lot. Against Watford, he was whipping balls in. Yeah. He looked dangerous. Created, and created the winner. Yeah, we've seen a bit of, of what he can... Yeah, exactly. He assisted the winner. And we've seen a bit of what he, why we signed him. So I wouldn't, get, we, I wouldn't get rid of him just yet. And I don't want Kyle Walker to become complacent again. Yeah, I mean, yeah. This, he's, no one wants that. He's had, you know... Fire lit up him. Yeah. And now he's really on his game, Kyle Walker. Okay, let me ask you this one. Michelle Vaughan. Gone. Blacklisted. Blacklisted. Well, Once who's again. Your, who's your sub keeper then? That's You've what I'm saying. Rose will play sub keeper before <laughs> I play Vaughan oh Mingong. I don't think Rose, at least Rose wow, would, would miss. I think Rose sake. would miss the save, but he wouldn't spill the ball into his own net in the 90th minute. Even Harry Kane. Harry Kane did a good Rose, job in goal in the Europa last season. Danny Rose can't reach the crossbar, mate. So I don't know why you're putting him in goal above Vaughan. Uh, you know what it is? You know what it is? I just haven't forgiven Vaughan for, for what he did. I mean, he spilled the ball on two occasions. Awfully, he's a like, good keeper, okay? He made a couple mistakes. We all make mistakes. I, okay, the only reason I wouldn't move him is because we don't have a replacement. But I, I, I don't so think he's, he's good at, I don't think he's good enough. Let's take Friedel back, man. Let's take him back. Uh, Stop being got, ambassador. Come back, Bruce Willis. He's just got a new job, mate. He's a coach now. Anyway, this has been the Big Conversation Tottenham Transfer Debate. Let us know what you think. If you can think of anyone we should definitely sign, let us know. A lot of these are just hypothetical, maybe not realistic. Fair enough. We're not going to get Hazard. Uh, we already didn't get him once. Not going to get him this time. Anyway, let us know what you think. Who should we sell? Should we get rid of Vorm? Obviously not. What an idiot. Uh, what about people <laughs> like Pritchard, Bentaleb, maybe even Chadley? What do you think of that? Uh, let us know in the comments. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. Give us a like and we will see you soon. Hello, welcome to the first Spurverse of 2016. It's gonna be our year, is it? Who knows? Uh, it's gonna be our year.